For the first time ever, two choirs in the Michiana area are getting ready for a historic trip. But we're not going to tell you where that trip is first. We're going to introduce you as you all know. <laughs> you, you, are you one of the hosts now, <laughs> Dr. Kurtz? No. I, think, I think you're one of the hosts here. Just hire me. <laughs> <laughs> but you are also the director of the South Bend Symphonic Choir. Yes. And we have one, Juan. Carlos Alcon. Yes. Hey, I did it. I did it. And you are the director of the Elkhart Community Chorus. And so this is the first time that these two choruses are coming together for a trip. But first, tell us a little bit about this relationship because Juan was, is one of, was one of your students. Yes, Juan came to us uh, in about 2011, I think it was. 2010. 10. And I was the dean of the School of the Arts, back in the School of the Arts. And uh, he came as a music education student. Uh, left us for a year on a missionary trip, came back. And when he came back, the school had changed. Mm. Um, and he was thrilled. And uh, we watched him grow and he became a Grammy Award winner. And he's now, uh, he's graduated, and got his master's from Notre Dame. And now he is doing all kinds of wonderful things with the Civic Theater, with Elkhart, and he's serving with us on the Symphony Board as well. So our relationship has ex expanded. He's also my assistant director for the South Bend Community Choir, for the South Bend uh, Symphony Choir. That is wonderful. So now I can say I personally know a Grammy Award winner. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like winning that Grammy and what was the project about? So uh, uh, Dr. Curtis mentioned I started at IU South Bend mm -hmm. 2010 and it's been a journey, uh, a journey of growth, uh, of learning from mentors like Dr. Curtis and I wouldn't be here without uh, those people. And so uh, you mentioned the Grammy. I, I, I went up there and, and I, you know, the award and everything, but it was about my community. It's about, you know, I have a host of people behind me, backing me up, uh, school, family, friends. So it's also theirs. And it was a wonderful experience. Coming back, it's like, now what? So uh, coming back uh, was, you know, what am I gonna do with this? I need to be a better person, a better musician, a better friend, a better brother, you know, yeah. everything, you know, it's just, it, 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 and you've won many, many awards. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, you know, you want to be better and you want to be deserving of that honor and title. So it's helped me become a better person. Absolutely. You know, if we were going to talk about his awards, we'd be here for three hours. Yes. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so we won't be able to do that. But, right. you know, right. so grateful for both of you for all that you pour into the community. And, and I love what you said, that the award was not just about, about you, but it's about the community and all those that were behind you. So together, the two choruses are the Michiana Festival Choir. Right. Right. And how have the rehearsals been going? Well, he's been doing all of it since I've been sick. Mm -hmm. He has actually taken over everything. So he is learning all the other stuff that I couldn't teach him by doing it exactly. So I'll let him talk about that. This is a refiner's fire yeah, uh, I sort of way. <laughs> there's, um, there's a lot of things that um, as an assistant, you don't get to, to see uh, firsthand um, coordinating the behind the scenes and making the decisions. Uh, so the repertoire that will be performing here in South Bend and in Elkhart. Uh, we're performing uh, pieces from what we're going to perform in a place to be. Yes, that is soon to, uh, be, announced. Soon to be announced. Soon to be announced. Um, but also trying to find um, other pieces to incorporate. And um, uh, we, I, I chose one of his pieces. Um, and I've, the harder ones too. I've always <laughs> wanted to conduct this piece because I think there's this middle part. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful writing. Uh, and I'm not saying that because you're here, but he's a wonderful it, composer. Truly, yeah. truly. Um, and so having to um, rehearse both choirs and then bringing them together. And it was it was challenging uh, because, you know, I always tell them we're a support group that just happens to sing. <laughs> I love that. So um, that's that's what we are. And it's all about the people. It's all about the community. Now, Dr. Curtis, I'm going to let you announce where this Michiana Festival Choir is going. We're going to the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. to sing. It's called um, We Have a Dream uh, Festival. It is the 60th anniversary of Dr. King's speech in 1968. And so this group has come together with 160 other singers to form this massive choir on the main stage of the Kennedy Center uh, on June 18th at 2 p.m. conducted by Eugene Rogers, who, Dr. Eugene Rogers, who is professor at, Mich at the University of Michigan and a good friend. Um, so he, he put the call out last year and I saw it 
And this, this choir has, the symphonic choir has been to Carnegie Hall twice. I mean, they've done some traveling. And I thought, ah, the Candy Center. But more important, it was the I Have a Dream speech yes. celebration. And so part of it, so it's a weekend of rehearsing Friday, Saturday, concert Sunday. And then on Monday, we will go to the King Memorial and lay a wreath at the memorial on, on uh, the actual holiday of Juneteenth. That's wonderful. Now, uh, Dr. Curtis, you, your feet have graced the stage of, of so many places, including Carnegie Hall. What does it mean for you to be standing on the stage at Kennedy Center? Because this is your first time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just be standing and thinking it's not me up to conduct. <laughs> um, but the kid, I've been in the Kennedy Center as, a, as, a, as in the audience, but never in on the stage. And that's one of the reasons why um, I'm going. Uh, in spite of my health, I decided I, I need to stand on, on that stage at yes. least once in my life. It's, a, it's an honor. And I think for the choir, it's, it's even a bigger honor. Mm -hmm. um, the Symphonic Choir has a been in business almost 50 some years, 55 years I think it's been now. Uh, Wands Choir is this is like 10. 10 years. And so for both of these groups, it's a chance to sing on a prestigious stage like that, to put that on your on your bucket list that I sing at the Kennedy Center, I sing at Carnegie Hall. You know, yes, you can cross that one yeah, off the bucket it's off the list. list yeah. Now how has it been for the choir members to to know that they're going to be standing on that stage, I'm sure there's a lot of excitement and maybe a little nerves. Yeah, it, to be in the nation's capital, it's always, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. Um, the place, uh, you could almost call it, you know, a, a, a sacred place, uh, you know, um, and to stand in, in that, on that stage to uh, where many, many world-renowned artists uh, have been and, and have sung and played and everything, and you know it was built as a symbol of you know, to the arts a tribute to the arts mm -hmm. and so the choir has been um e excited uh they feel the pressure yes. because and as 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 conductors as, as directors preparing uh this these pieces for somebody else you know it's your baby so you have to let go and so um i've been you know not sleepless nights, but uh, it's been a little uh, sleepless, days. <laughs> uh, sleepless days. So um, for them, it's, it's, it's a true honor and a true bucket list, just like Dr. Curtis was saying. I think the other part of it is that, that what I said, you're preparing for somebody else to conduct. And so you want to make sure that you're ready. Exactly. And one of the pieces we, we're doing is called the Justice Symphony, and it is hard. Mm. And it's the longest piece on the program, and the composer will be there. Uh, but we don't get to conduct it, which is probably a good thing. No pressure at all. <laughs> no, right. But you have to be ready for it. And yes. so there's about nine hours worth of rehearsals prior to the, to the performance. And Waz's rehearsal techniques have improved greatly since I first met him years ago. And he knows what he's doing, but it's challenging. We had a meeting with the conductor uh, on, on Zoom, mm -hmm. and he had a chance to hear. And I said to him, this is Eugene's problem. <laughs> Once we get there, we just sit back. We just sit back yeah. and enjoy it. Enjoy. Now, what's, we're very fortunate because you're going to have two concerts right here in the Michiana mm -hmm. area. Right. The one that you're taking to Kennedy Center. What are those days? Uh, the first one is this, is this Friday. The uh, six, well, what's the date? The, the ninth. Ninth. Mm -hmm. Friday the ninth. Right here at seven o'clock, and then. And then on Sunday, it'll be at First Presbyterian Church in Elkhart, seven o'clock as well. Okay, and admission is free, but there'll be a love offering. People okay. can contribute to it. Uh, and um, it's going to be a great celebration for all of us. Yes. And then we'll do the same concert um, later on this summer. Around yeah. the summertime. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you for being with us. I know you have to get back to rehearsal. We've been hearing them sing in the background. They sound absolutely wonderful. You guys thank are going to be ready. But congratulations and safe travels to you thank both. You. Thank, thank you. you.